Today I'm going to show how to make a simple coil vessel. Okay, this one uh, has uh, external coils uh, reviewed. It's not been blended down, blend down, blended down. But you can see the inside is uh, smoothened. So I'm going to show something like that. So the basic form you can see is is built from coils. So you take some clay. Uh, clay has to be very soft. And uh, what we do is cut it in strips bigger than a coin. Okay, and we must have a sponge. Okay, make sure it's a little bit wet. Okay, you can also put some water on wood. And we roll with the fat part over here. Okay, you can squeeze it a little bit so that it's round. Okay. And we want to roll forward and backward. I must say hazel makes coiling okay. look very Forward and backward, <laughs> okay, we don't roll down. Okay, if you roll down, okay, what happens here is that you flop, 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 flop. Okay, if you get it to be flat, if it happens to be flat, you flip it this way again and you press down so that it is more squarish. Okay, like this, you press down and then you go again forward and backward. Okay, forward and backward. You want to check, okay? This is a bit uh, okay, this is a bit fat, so we want to continue. Forward and backward, forward and backward. Okay, if you're very productive, you can use both hands. Okay. Forward and backward. Forward and backward. You get something like your finger thickness. So we want to roll about a few of them, maybe three. Okay, and put it under the top. Okay, next part is we want to use a bending wheel and the simple way is to roll into a ball, right? And then put in the center, use the heel and press down. And the thickness should be about 1 cm. Okay, check. Then the next thing is we want to cut a perfect circle. Okay, what we do is we hold the needle back and uh, brace your hand to your body and then use one hand to spin and slowly lower the needle onto so you get a circle. Okay, once you get the circle, okay, to, it's easier to manually turn and then cut it. And hold the needle still. Okay, go around about two rounds. Okay, this is a better idea than coiling and smoothening because when you smoothen the coil, you have a problem of it cracking if it's not compressed evenly. This way you have perfect compression and uh, almost can guarantee you it will not crack. It will not be an S-shaped crack. Okay, when you're doing, for example, you're doing it by the coil method. So just remove it like that. Okay, very nice. Okay, next thing I'm going to show is uh, how to put the coil onto this slab. Okay, first thing what we want to do is we want to score the surface here. So you can just go like this. Turn, use this, uh, turn the table, turn the bending wheel with one hand. Okay, then turn to the other side so you get crosses. They're really, really fun. Okay. Uh, yes. You can, but this one gives you more better lines. Okay, the next thing is um, here. Okay, actually, no need to. If your coil is very still very soft, you don't need to score on your coils. Okay, so you take the slip and use a tool to apply the slip. Make sure you press the slip into the cracks, into the <laughs> squat lines. Be a bit more generous with it. Okay. Then the next step here is um, you want to one hand guide the coil, okay, the other hand press down. Okay, start like this. Make a small little ramp. Okay, so turn. Turn the wheel. You see? One hand hold here, then the other hand will press down. You see? Press down. So you get a very firm attachment okay, between the coils. So you see there's a ramp, so you go up. 
and press down, make sure there's no gap in between. Okay, and when you finish at the end, you just make another slope like this. Okay, now I'm going to build a straight vessel, then after that I'm going to open it up. It's going to have a bigger rim. So place on top, okay, always place on top, okay, not like this, not end to end, okay, place on top, press down. So you don't need to score now already, you no still wet is it? Yeah, no need. So I'm going to build it exactly straight up. Okay, one hand guide, one hand press, very simple. And you do a bit slowly so you can know what is the shape of your pot. Okay, now I'm going to have it to come out a little bit. So I'm going to place the coin slightly out, outwards. Okay, then make a slope. Let me take another coin. Place on top. And we place this coin further on the outside of the coin. Okay, make the slope here. Okay, once you're ready to stop, you can just cut. Okay, place it further out. Okay, see I'm pressing it down, make sure there's no gaps okay, in between the coins. Then make a slope here. Okay, once this is done, um, what we want to do is uh, I'm going to I'm going to smoothen I'm going to smoothen both sides. Okay, so you can smoothen the inside first. Okay, use a finger like this. Blend the coins. When you use your when you blend down, you have to blend halfway into the coin, not just a little bit. Very really smooshy. Yeah, smooshy. Hold the head, hold outside, and push. Blend the coins. You can use this finger, you can also use this finger. Okay, whichever is more comfortable. Hold the outside, okay, press, and blend the coins together. So you see the pressure is halfway in and blend down. Okay, hold the outside, halfway, halfway in, blend down. It's a very methodical process. Okay, and then in the inside, you want to roll a very small sausage to reinforce the joints between the wall and the base. Okay, as thin as you can. Okay, if you want it to be even thinner, you can split it into half like this. into the between the wall and the base you can see you can see like this okay then So if you blend it uh, deeply enough, you can just blend one side, which is the inside, so that I can reveal the outside. Okay, and then we want to check that it is there's no gaps in between. Yeah, in between. Okay, I'm gonna show you something a little bit more interesting. Instead of having very boring just uh, coins stacked up, you can make interesting decorative. Maybe I make an S shape like this. And make sure it's very tight. Okay, there's no gap. No gap in between. Yeah. And you can try to piece it together. Yeah. Maybe I want to have as little as little gap as possible. Okay. And make sure it's tight. Okay, we we'll do another one here. S shape. Use the thumb to fold it in. The other one this way, opposite directions. Make sure it's very tight. Okay, and then we want to. If you have a gap there, 
you can make a small little round dot just to fill it, fill it in so this is creative it's not so boring right yeah and it has to be quite thick in order for this to be successful it has to be quite thick if it's too thin yeah so we want to do another Maybe a bigger S, so I'm going to call it a little bit more. So you can work out the design along the way. Right, so I'm going to have a big S. And uh, put here. Okay, there's a gap there. So we make a little circle. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to fill it in too big. Just outside here. Yeah, just to secure that. Support it. Squeeze it in. So. This way. This way? This way. Ah, this way. Mm. Mm. This, this way. I'm sure you kiss them together very tightly. Like suddenly tight. Tightly. They will not, yeah. Huddle, huddle them together. Okay, last Four. one here. Maybe I can do something mm. a bit more creative. Maybe I'll throw it this way. And here I'm going to end off this way. Pull a bit more and fit it in. There's a hole there. A little guy. Can you squash it? want to blend the inside. Okay, show the inside. Now hold the outside and want to blend. Okay, you can also use a tool. Okay, this will give you more directed, direct um, focus strength. Because it's stiff compared to your finger. Push the clay from one side to another side. Squash it into another piece, another side. See, like this, then push it into one another. The best is to visualize it one third into the clay. Because there's a lot of stress when it's drying. See, one third into the clay, push to the other point. And hold on outside. Uh, the inside need not be smooth. Why must it be smooth? It can be this kind of stroke, wooden tool, stroke pattern. Oh, like your pattern. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is nice. Inspired by the hedgehog girl. The hedgehog girl. <laughs> again still very tight so next thing is uh, how do you remove this so yeah like here right you see here is a bit uh, wire you need a wire to remove okay how do you remove this the base here, you can make it a bit nicer. You see the base? Okay, you can put your finger there to elevate it slightly. Okay, you can also use this tool to trim. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can trim. Okay, I'll show you this way. Hold the tool there and you can trim away the excess. You see, it gives a very nice foot, foot thing, foot detail. Look for the muscle. 
So you kind of move the vessel up. So there isn't a very sloppy slope. So it actually elevates. This one, you for cutting wire, twirl between, pull it tightly, and then press down. Okay, let's flip over. I'm going to neaten this part here. Ta-da! <laughs> Ta-da! Look like a crown. Yeah. Look like a crown. Yeah, and it's a good project for coiling. A crown. Wow! Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Look at your face. The eyes the most. Yeah. yeah, I think we, yeah. we, we, we yeah. have to keep this one as a good example of coiling. Yeah. As far as